वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट टू थाउजेंड एंड एट एग्जाम जस्ट हैव अ लुक एट द स्टेटमेंट अ सेट ऑफ बुलियन कनेक्टिव इज फंक्शनली कंप्लीट इफ ऑल बुलियन फंक्शन कैन बी सेंथसाइज यूजिंग दोज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेट्स ऑफ कनेक्टिव इज नॉट फंक्शनली कंप्लीट सो द फोर ऑप्शन दैट यू आर गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन आर दीज ओके देर आस्किंग विच ऑफ दीज इज नॉट फंक्शनली कंप्लीट also they have given you the definition of functionally complete a circuit is called a circuit or a device is called functionally complete if each and every possible boolean function can be implemented by using that device okay there are two gates which are functionally complete first one is nand second one is nor okay also multiplexer is functionally complete but you know basic unit for implementing a fun uh, मल्टीप्लेक्सर इज द गेट्स ओनली ओके सो दीज टू सर्किट्स आर फंक्शनली कंप्लीट दैट मीन्स दिस वन इज फंक्शनली कंप्लीट एज वेल एज दिस वन इज फंक्शनली कंप्लीट बिकॉज और प्लस नेगेशन कैन मेक नॉर ओके नॉर इज और एंड नॉट नाउ द कंफ्यूजन इज बिटवीन ऑप्शन ए एंड ऑप्शन सी I have told you only two basic gates are functionally complete. That is NAND and NOR. So X NOR is functionally not complete. Okay, this one is the answer. This is not functionally complete. Option C. How is this one functionally complete? Let's discuss it. So option C is implication. That means P implies Q, and not okay so you know implication is not p plus q now into this you can input not p what i'm saying is we already have not that means we can complement the first input the first input is p we can complement it so if i input p complement okay what i am inputting is p complement and this complement is already there plus q okay so you will get p plus q that means or can also be implemented using this implication and not okay not is already there or we have implemented so or and negation that means or and negation nor is implemented using option c so this one is also functionally complete okay now if you want to prove option a is functionally incomplete we can do that easily first of all this one is a linear function okay linear function can never be functionally complete so it's proved from here also second point is let's talk about preserving zeros and preserving ones so zero nor zero x nor zero is on same inputs the output is one okay zero is preserved okay one x nor one is one from here you can conclude zero is not preserved but one is preserved okay if a function preserves one it cannot be functionally uh, complete so option a is not functionally complete and this is your answer what do i mean by saying function preserves one that means if both of its inputs are one output is one okay in this case if output is one we say one is preserved okay so one is preserved when both of the inputs are zero and output is also zero we will say fun uh, function preserves zero but here you can see instead of output uh, being zero the output is one so we will say zero is not preserved okay